we got thrown out of a house party the first time we tried mixed drink. Senior year of high school, my friends and I, we were kind of behind the curve. We ran cross country, so we didn't drink until about halfway through our senior year was the first time we drank. So we had never had experience with alcohol. We didn't really know what alcohol does to you. Like we just knew that getting drunk was supposed to be really fun and we were going to try it after we were done with sports. This is our first big house party where the whole school's going. The kids' parents are out of town, word spreads, and next thing you know, you get almost the entire school at the party. So it was a big party coming up. It's me, my buddy Griff, Blaze, and our friend Monty is driving us to this because he wasn't going to drink. There had been this mixed drink going around called Hooch. This kid, we'll call him Dooley. Dooley was selling Hooch at school. It was his homemade mixed drink of Fruit Punch, Everclear, and something else. He made like a whole batch of it. He had it hidden under his bed, and he was literally just bringing it in in water bottles and selling it at school. So Hooch is spreading all through the school this week leading up to this huge house party. So it's literally going to be a Hooch party. That's what people were calling it. I don't know what the fuck Hooch is. I've only ever drank beer. It's like the third time I've ever drank in my life heading into this party. So Blaze brings Hooch to Griff's house because we all met at Griff's to pregame for this party. We'll call it McLovin's party. So we're getting ready to go to McLovin's house. We've got this Hooch. We had never drank hooch before. We didn't really know what, you know, we had had some beer, a few shots. We didn't really know the difference between like beer drunk and liquor drunk. We pre-gamed with the hooch. We're drinking the hooch on the way to the house party. By the time we get to the party, this shit just hits us. And we're like, oh my God, oh, you're trash. I was pretty out of control. I was just on one that night. I was talking to this chick who was also talking to this other dude. And this other dude, we'll call him, a, we'll just call him the ginger. The ginger was a creep, okay? He was one of those guys who would get girls really fucking trashed, wouldn't drink hardly at all, and then try to, like, you know, do shit with them. Real fucking creepy, dude. So I'm hammered, and, you know, at this time, I was pretty socially awkward. Not something I normally do, but I just walk right up to this chick I'm talking to who's talking to the ginger at the time. And I'm saying right in front of the ginger, I'm like, you know, this dude's a, f- let me, come here, come here. I'm like, you know, this dude's a fucking creep, right? Like he tries to get girls drunk and like do weird shit with them. The kid gets pissed. On top of that, the kid could have totally beat my ass at the time. So the kid's fuming, okay? <laughs> and I walk over to Griff. I'm like, hey, man, I just said some shit. He's like, I heard it. He's like, that kid comes over here, I'll beat his ass. So we're just on one. The ginger's also best friends with the McLovin. So the ginger wants us out of the party as soon as I say that shit, right? So he's fuming. Like He's walking around just eyeballing me, fuming. On top of that, the girl who I'm trying to talk to, I get kind of bored with. And again, I'm drunk. So I walk over and I'm talking to this other chick. She sits on my lap and I realize like halfway through talking to her, she's one of my other buddy's cousins. And I'm just like, hey, your cousin's fucking hot. And he's like, dude, come on. That's my cousin. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So she get her off my lap. I kind of stagger around the basement socializing. I see Blaze sitting on like this chair with some chick. Griff, I think Griff was playing Pog. Like we were all just like more fucked up than everybody else there, which was surprising and very unexpected for us at the time. Because again, it was like our third house party together. So I'm fucked up. I'm looking up. I'm standing next to Blaze and I'm just looking up at the ceiling in this basement and I just take this fucking light bulb right out of the ceiling and I'm putting it on my head and I'm like, I have an idea. I have an idea. Blaze is dying because we were, you know, like I said, just very drunk. Griff's laughing. This kid comes over, sees me. He's like, give me that fucking light bulb. So McLovin's now strike two, right? McLovin's not happy with us. He takes it, puts it in, (laughs) puts it back in the ceiling. Well, while he's messing with the light bulb, I just kind of staggered upstairs in his house. I was so drunk that I, and I can't really describe like that first, like true liquor drunk um, except for you're not blackout drunk, but you're just not in control of yourself. That's the only way I could really describe it. So I stagger up these stairs. Just, I thought I was in another house. I really genuinely thought I was in another house when I went from the basement where the party was taking place to this kid's upstairs because I got up there. I'm in, I stepped right into like his kitchen and very dimly lit kitchen. And there's these three people in there. And there's this one kid that I know he's like spraying cheese whiz in his mouth. He's talking to these chicks. He's just eating weird. cheese, like doing cheese whiz. And like hot sauce, like I don't know if he was drunk or just putting random shit in his mouth, but I really did. Th- and I didn't even know who the other two chicks were. So I really thought I was at another house. I pick up this coffee cup. Okay. This mug. I look at the coffee mug. I look at and I see it in his face. He's like, don't do it. Don't do it. And I just start laughing and I'm like, boom. 
boom, I just grok spiked this coffee mug right on this kid's hardwood floors of his parents' house. And then I run back downstairs. And I hear says, no, Tom, no, no, no. So he, I run back downstairs. I'm at the pong table, okay? And I see McLovin, who I just, remind you, just put the light bulb I took out back in his ceiling, run upstairs, okay? Now I'm at the pong table, okay? And I'm never going to say this kid's name. I can't even give him a nickname. But this kid turns and he goes, hey, Tom, you having fun tonight? I'm like, yeah. And, he, and then this kid, you know, he had been in his party phase for a while. He looks at me and goes, fuck McLovin. Boom. It just punches a hole right in the drywall of this kid's basement. And I start dying, okay? Then a couple other drunk kids punch an even bigger hole in the wall. So Griff and I happen to be over with this group of kids and we're laughing our asses off, okay? McLovin comes flying downstairs, okay? And he looks at us and he's like, what the fuck? I see him walk over. And again, these kids, I hate to say it this way because it was a nice gesture for him to have the party at his house. But these kids were just kind of bitches. Like they were the type of kids that were like the big, like, oh yeah, we work out. We're huge. But they would never actually like confront you. Like if you have a problem with me, just kick me out of your fucking house. So they go, this kid goes over McLovin, goes over to our driver, Monty. And he's like, did you come here with Blaze? Griff and Tom, because I need them out of my fucking house. And Monty's like, yep, that's my whole car. I'll go grab them. I don't know exactly why, but when Blaze heard we were getting kicked out, he was hiding under this, like, reclining chair, right? So there's someone sitting in the chair, and you see Blaze had crawled under the chair. So he's, like, sticking his head out between the legs of the chair. He's like, did they see us? Are we getting kicked out? And we're like, yeah, bro, we're getting kicked out. We got to go. So as we're leaving, and again, No fault of Monty's because he's trying to get us in the car. He's got me, Blaze Griff, tosses us in the back of his Civic, and he had some other girl in the front seat with him. So (laughs) Monty is in a rush to get out of there because he doesn't want, you know, any more issues with McLovin. So he goes to throw this car in reverse. He drills T-bones the rear ends the shit out of this car behind us that's parallel parked in the street. And then we take off out of the neighborhood. So that was the night, you know, we didn't really think anything. I was just like, oh, it was just a bad drunk night. I had never been that drunk before, you know, like it was all kind of a blur for me and my buddies. We go to school that following Monday and I'm being accused of punching a hole in the kid's drywall. And I'm like, I didn't do that shit. I'm like, I remember everything. He's like, no, you were really drunk. Like, I know what you did. I'm like, nah, dude, I'm even going to fucking not deny the fact that I Gronk spiked a coffee mug upstairs, but I wasn't that fucking drunk. Like, I I didn't punch the fucking hole in your drywall. I know who punched a hole in your drywall. And he's like, well, who was? I'm like, I'm not fucking telling you. I'm not snitching on him. It was also like a great day because no one had ever seen me that drunk before, so I kind of developed this alter ego. Tunk was my nickname, Drunk Tom. <laughs> We're 13 deep. We're 13 deep. That's my fucking number. <laughs> and it was really funny because, you know, I never had a good story when I was in tunk mode, as my friends from high school called it. But it was the birth of, you know, kind of my party alter ego, which I really liked. I enjoyed it. So, you know, it was a good night. I would say if you haven't drank Everclear or any type of liquor before, ease into it. Don't go straight to the mixed drink where you don't know how much of the alcohol you're consuming because it'll end up at a night like that but yeah um great time more tunk stories to come more blaze stories to come more griff stories to come talk to tom i was riding around town thinking to myself is it gonna get easier i'll be up in a way of the street and paper can't even breathe no more what's it to me Shots by the lake till I can't